Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to solve for total revenue for marginal revenue using integral calculus. Marginal revenue, MR, is a derivative of total revenue with respect to output and we're going to just look at it in general form here equals A minus B times Q where Q is the quantity of output. We're going to calculate total revenue by taking the integral of marginal revenue. So revenue will equal the integral of marginal revenue and we're going to get this result here. The integral of A is going to be A times Q, and the integral of minus BQ is going to be given by minus BQ squared divided by 2, and then we're going to add the constant of integration. We're going to simplify this by dropping the C, so revenue will just equal this. Why did we drop the C? Revenue is 0 when Q equals 0, therefore C will equal 0 and is dropped from the equation. So we'll drop that constant then C. So to get this result, I uh, use the integral of a constant rule. The integral of a, a constant, is just going to be a times q. And then I use the integral of a power function rule, q raised to the power of n. In our problem here, q is raised to the power of 1. And so following the rule then, it's going to be the exponent on q plus 1. And that's going to be all divided by the exponent on q plus 1. And so that's where the q squared is coming from, 1 plus 1. And in the denominator here, this, uh, this 2 is coming from n is 1 plus 1. And that's where this 2 is coming from. We can check our answer by taking the derivative of the revenue function to make sure we get back marginal revenue. So if we were to take the derivative of the revenue function, this one right here, the derivative of a times q is just a the derivative of minus bq squared divided by 2 should just be minus bq. So looks like we did our integral right. Alright, let's do a numerical example. Marginal revenue equals 80 minus 0.25q. We're going to calculate total revenue by taking the integral of marginal revenue. So the integral of 80 is going to be 80q and then this minus 0.25q will become this minus 0.25q squared divided by 2 just following the power function rule that I listed on the first slide. We're going to drop the C. Okay, Once again when Q is 0, revenue is 0 so we don't have to add a constant here. And then check our answer. We can take the derivative of this revenue equation. So taking the derivative of 80Q we get 80. The derivative of minus Q squared divided by 8 just going to be minus 0.25q. Uh, another example, marginal revenue equals 55 minus 2q. We're going to calculate total revenue by taking the integral of marginal revenue. The integral of 55 is 55q, just a constant rule. Minus 2q will become minus 2q squared divided by 2. Drop the constant. We can check our math here by taking the derivative of the revenue equation and we get back marginal revenue. So we did our integral right. Okay, that's it. 